discussed was the big move <sighs> Ella wasn't happy about her family moving away and now she was angry because she'd had a big argument with mum and dad my suitcase just isn't big enough Ella was determined to pack all her things into one travel bag there just isn't enough room Kiss was already bursting at the seams with all of Ella's clothes. The picture of her grand just about squeezed in, but the whoopee cushion made too much noise. Her TV wouldn't bend into the right shape. There was certainly too many stuffed animals. Ella was insistent she was taking her broccoli with her. There's definitely no broccoli where we're going. Ella loved broccoli and was determined not to leave the special plants behind. However, Ella's packing was out of control. No, please don't pack me in the case. Uh, oops. And she had to apologise to her little sister for trying to stuff her into the case as well. Uh, sorry. Eventually, after another argument with mum and dad, the packing was done, but... That's not fair. The broccoli wasn't going with them. Bye-bye, home. Bye-bye, broccoli. Once at the airport, Ella regretted having the heaviest bag. She felt more unhappy than ever. She was determined not to let her valuable possessions out of sight. She refused any help and ended up crashing to the floor. When they arrived at check-in, we have to put the bag on the conveyor belt. The airline will look after it. But it was all too much. Ella cried. <laughs> Everything will be okay. But as far as Ella was concerned, losing sight of her bag was not okay. Once on the plane and flying above the clouds, Ella couldn't stop worrying about her bag. As she fell asleep, she even dreamed about her bag. And she imagined landing in a scary looking forest. No home? No broccoli allowed? It was a horrible dream. The bag wouldn't budge. Come on. No TV. No, no cuddly, cuddly toys. toys. No, no broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> and there were evil witches that transformed into evil tomatoes. Broccoli. Ella's bag exploded. No, my broccoli. Broccoli tomatoes. Ella chased the mini tomatoes around the forest, trying to retrieve her stuff. Unfortunately. Mini tomatoes are very good at running. Ella became exhausted. Love. We're having a bad dream. Don't worry, we're nearly there. Oh. 
However, Paul Ellis' nightmare continued. No need to stress. The airline will find your bag, I'm sure. Ella's suitcase, with all her worldly possessions, was missing. Ella should have been exploring her wonderful new home. Come on, love. Check your new bedroom. You don't have to share a room anymore. She loved the beach and the seaside. Her new home had a sea view. But all Ella could think about was her missing bag and broccoli. Ella, I'm pretty sure your bag didn't fall out the plane. But Ella stared out at the ocean, hoping a case might wash up on the sand. Oblivious to the fact her new home was in Barcelona. Where? Grandma, what are you doing here? Welcome to your new home. Ella had worried so much about the journey, the big move. She had paid no attention to the amazing new life she was about to begin. They had moved to be nearer to family. I brought these for you. Broccoli! Yes. Suddenly, Ella forgot all the trauma of the journey and she smiled. I think my new life is going to be brilliant after all. No one could quite understand how Ella's bag was washed up on the beach. But it didn't matter. Ella was happy. She had a new life and always kept in touch with old friends on Zoom. And she was never short of broccoli. Her grand made a beautiful broccoli bake. And sometimes they even ate tomatoes. Look at broccoli. I'll be back. <laughs> Tomato, 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 tomato. We really love tomato.